of the tricks that we can work on is twirling a disc, twirling a frisbee. You can use an Ultima disc, you can use a dog disc, that's what I'm going to use. This is a Hero Extra 235. You can see it's quite a bit smaller than an Ultima disc. I use these discs in schools, they're fantastic. And so twirling a disc. So know that you can spin a frisbee in two directions, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So very important when we're twirling because you need to find out and discover which direction you like the best and which hand you like the best. So I know for myself personally, for when I'm twirling a disc, I like twirling on my right hand clockwise. Some people might twirling, might like twirling counterclockwise on their right. Some people might like twirling counterclockwise on their left or clockwise on their left. So the first progression in twirling is to practice both hands and both directions. So try and find out if you're a clock or counter and your right or your left hand. So once you find out which direction you like, which hand you like, the next trick is going to be to twirl and switch fingers on the same hand. So try to go from your index to your middle, to your ring, to your pinky. You could even try and go from your thumb, and if you drop it, just pick it up, keep going. So I could even go from my thumb, <laughs> to my index, to my middle, to my ring, to my pinky. You can even try and go backwards, so start off on your pinky and go all the way back. So depending on the length of your fingers, this will be a little trickier for you, but that is the really the first trick with twirling is to try to switch fingers. Then you can try to switch hands as you're twirling. So this one might take a few tries to get the hang of it. Sometimes if you overthink, it's actually more difficult. So try and switch hands as you're twirling it. So you don't want to pop it up. You want to take your time. Try and place the finger as you're twirling. So all so far, everything we've been doing is just twirling it flat. You could also try and twirl it vertical or sideways. You could even try and go from flat to vertical. All I'm really doing here is just turning my wrist as I go. And you can't go too fast because it's going to fall over. So it's just, you're slowly turning your wrist. Okay. Now this one is going to be really difficult. When I do this in schools, I talk about resiliency, not giving up, learning from failure, not telling yourself you can't do it because you won't be able to. Telling yourself you can, you just haven't done it yet. So don't give up. I'm going to try and twirl it upside down and then pick it up off the ground. So for this one, I actually like, this is counterclockwise on my right. You could also switch fingers as you're twirling it. So you go from index to middle to ring to pinky. This one's tricky. There we go. You could also try to go from upside down to sideways to flat. So lots of different things you can try with twirling. My left hand is not very good with twirling it upside down, so that's something that I can practice. But give yourself a chance. Practice it. Don't give up. Keep trying. Some really cool things that you can learn twirling discs. Remember, you can either twirl it clockwise or counterclockwise. And when you're done, you can even have your dog catch the disc.